Hi, my name is Tim Davis. I'm one of the instructors at Learning Fuse. I primarily teach the more advanced topics in the full immersion program, including React.js, Node.js, and PostgreSQL. So when you're preparing to enter a coding bootcamp, um, the first thing you want to do is actually try coding. There are a lot of sites online that allow you to try things like JavaScript or Python or Ruby. And it would be a good idea to try those things out to make sure that coding does something for you. If you get something to work and you get a little dopamine hit, that's probably a good sign that coding's for you. Attending a coding bootcamp is a really big commitment. So it's a good idea to actually take a look at what your current routine is. Um, you might have a workout routine that you try to stick to. You might regularly hang out with friends. Um, you might have family obligations that you attend weekly. Uh, and you want to make sure that you go into something as intense as a coding boot camp knowing what your current schedule is. So the reason why it's really important to know how much you enjoy coding and what your current routine demands of you is because you have to figure out what your commitment level can be. Attending a coding boot camp is really intense and it's pretty demanding. So it's a good idea to know going in whether or not you feel like it'll be something that you enjoy, something that you're excited to do, um, and you wanna make sure that your life can be organized around attending a boot camp. There are a few things that you can do to make sure you get the most out of attending a coding boot camp. Uh, the first one I would say is to be available. And when I say that, I mean not just time commitment wise. I'm also talking about you know, being mentally available, being emotionally available. Um, if you're going through really challenging stuff outside of the coding boot camp, you're like living life in hard mode because coding boot camps can be really intense. They can be really demanding. Uh, you don't want to find yourself also contending with things outside of the coding boot camp. Uh, the next thing that I would say is it's a good idea to keep an open mind and that usually is really generic advice, but specifically what I mean when I say keep an open mind is know that you might actually find out that there are things that you're interested in or things that you enjoy doing that you have never heard of before. Um, I have had students who are not particularly interested in things like backend programming and then they find out more information about the back end, and then they turn, it turns out that they like it quite a bit. And same thing with people who are really into programming and logic and things like that, and they think, oh, I can never do design, and I don't like CSS or things like that. And then once they actually start to gain some mastery, it turns out that they enjoy it a lot. Another really important thing to keep in mind when attending a coding boot camp is to take care of yourself. It's not really feasible to work 10 to 12 hours a day for three months straight. Um, you can try, it's, it's tempting to get into that habit, but you're really having a negative impact on your learning. You want to make sure that you're fresh every day. So if you do have a workout routine, you want to make sure that you stick to that workout routine. If it conflicts with your schedule with the code bootcamp, try to move it around, but try really hard not to drop it. Um, aside from that, you know, make sure that you're eating well and that you're sleeping enough hours. You want to make sure that you're fresh every day so that you can get the most out of what you're learning.